Think for a moment. What's the worst thing that could happen to you? And then ask, how much would it change your happiness? Now think for a moment, what's the best thing that could happen to you? And ask, how much would it change your happiness? And the research in happiness suggests that your gut feelings are probably wrong. And here's a couple of case studies. For many people, a very bad thing that could happen to you is to be paralyzed from the neck down in an accident. It turns out, obviously, common sense, that when this happens, it makes people very unhappy. It makes them depressed. They think their life is over. They, are, they feel terribly sad. But not for that long. After about a year, after being paralyzed from the neck down, people's happiness comes back up pretty much to where it was before. Suggesting that there's a temporary effect, but not a permanent one. Many people believe that winning many, many millions of dollars in the lottery will make you happier. And it does. When you open up that winning ticket, you say, I won $100 million, you say, woohoo, you are honest to God, very happy. You'd say, hell, I'm at 10.5. I am very happy. A year later, you are not as happy. In fact, lottery winning may be a terrible case where people, where it goes the reverse of what you expect. What happens when you win a lot of money is it often wrenches you away from your family, your work, and your friends, and leads you to depression and sadness. But even mundane events that would make you happy, that you think would make you happy, don't seem to last 